Hey YouTube, thank you for watching. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ruger LC9 and it's a polymer frame, single stack uh, handgun in the course chamber 9mm and let's go ahead and take a look at it. Like I said, single stack magazine, it holds 7 in the magazine plus 1 in the chamber for a total of 8 and it actually comes with 2 magazines and one thing I thought I'd point out is that it has the, uh, the extended, the base plate here with the pinky extension on it which I really really love because it just gives me a whole lot better grip on the handgun. You can see uh, with, uh, for me it feels a whole lot better and makes me feel like I have a better grip on the handgun and one thing I thought was really nice is that both of them actually come with it which is really nice because a lot of the gun uh, makers out there they'll send sometimes neither of them will come with it or sometimes only one you'll have to go out and buy the other one or anything you know it's an extra you know 30 40 bucks per magazine but if you don't like that if you're not a real big fan of that um, they do have the option it comes with an extra base plate here and you can swap that out real easy and uh, it's just a plush fitting it'll make the mag plush fitting like that if you're going for concealment or want to make it make it smaller I don't like it just my pinky dangles and I don't have as a good a grip on the gun as I do with the other magazine but at least you have that option so thought I'd point that out and uh, that's a positive for me um, one thing also too I point out is um, unless the magazine's inserted you can't uh, you can't fire the gun you can see that pulling the trigger all day long and it won't budget and uh, the magazine has to be in for the uh, you know in order to fire the handgun and it does have a safety on it, it does have a manual safety it's here on the on the left handed side and it's it's up for safety and then down for fire and you see the red and white there so down down for fire and then up for safety and the sights on it are actually uh, pretty decent they're uh, for a pocket size handgun they're you know your three dot sights and there's your sight picture on it so definitely a little improvement over the LCP I'm not for sure if you're familiar with those but anyways also one other two one other thing I thought I'd point out on this is it has an internal locking mechanism here and uh, it comes with these keys and you, there's a little hole right here right uh, right above like the the back strap here and you just insert it insert the key into the hole like that you'll feel it go in and turn it clockwise like that you'll feel it, feel it click and then that'll dis disengage your your trigger the trigger will move but it's not actuating anything inside and then to, to unlock it you just put it in and then get a counterclockwise turn take it out and then you're good to go personally that's a negative for me I don't like it uh, I like to be able to take a just one glance at my handgun and know if it's ready to function or not. With that, you you really don't know until you go to pull the trigger. So that's uh, definitely a negative for me. But uh, I guess if you never use it, you don't have to worry about it. But just something to keep in mind. And also one other thing too. Uh, this is a dummy round. Don't worry, it's not going to go off or anything. Um, is you have a loaded chamber indicator. You can see here. Uh, of course, it says loaded went up. But in the dark, you can kind of run your finger over that, feel it. Uh, you can know if it's around in the chamber or not. And then also, too, here on the side, you know, you can see the red visible. But anyways, I thought that was a neat, neat little feature on it. But um, the takedown on it is really easy. Uh, it's not as easy as, as a Glock or 1911 or st something like that. But uh, anyways, you just push down this little uh, little deal right here then you'll slightly turn back pull back and line up the, that hole and then take your little key that it comes with and back here on on the side you're going to push that pin through I don't know if y'all can see it in there but there's a pin that pin right there you're going to push it through with this key so we'll just go ahead and get it kind of in there we'll come over here and line up the hole and then the pin pops right out I don't know, it's a little too complicated for me. I, I love the Glocks. You know, the Glocks are about as simple as they come. But anyways, that's the takedown on it. And then, of course, uh, just take your recoil uh, spring and guide rod out. And your barrel will lift out. And then that's good enough for your basic cleaning. Just clean in here to lube it up. Clean out your barrel and then you're good to go. So anyways, put it back together. Just reverse your steps. And then it can be a little tricky here, just getting those holes lined up for that pin to go back in. It's not too bad though. 
usually I like to just kind of set it on its side like up and down like that and then it'll slide right in and then just push this latch up and then and put the magazine in function test it and you're good to go so I think that's about it uh, not a whole lot more I have to say about it it's a nice little pocket gun it's really light uh, of course being polymer frame that's what you're going to get it's really skinny real low profile which is really makes it nice for concealment it's really super easy to conceal you can uh, wear it on you all day and you you won't even feel it feel it on you you'll forget forget you have it it's uh, really a joy to carry and uh, I like it it's not, it's not too bad of a gun the trigger on it is kind of long I'll show that to y'all real quick you can see the trigger is long creepy uh, long creepy trigger but um, that's how it is and uh, they, they do make laser sights for it you know Crimson Chase makes a really good one it's readily available for this and there's a couple different options you have as far as lasers go and they really don't add that much bulk to it so you always have that option but anyways I think that's about it if you have any questions uh, let me know drop me a comment or something and uh, I'll do my best to answer them but anyways thank y'all for watching and uh, I'll see y'all next time